Growing up in Greece in the 1930s, Colonel Steve Speros Pisanos dreamed of flying. The life of this 95-year-old retired U.S. Air Force fighter pilot reads like a novel. From his unlikely journey to America to his entry into the Air Force and brushes with death in World War II. But he's had many lucky turns as well. And reporter Petros Kasfikas has chronicled the life of the man they call the Flying Greek. He talked with Alex. Check it out. Over there, over there, send the word, send the word over there. That the with the Spitfires, we had uh, two missions. Uh, to convoy patrols to protect the, the convoys as they were coming from America into England. And short missions over northern France. With the Spitfire, we couldn't go too far away. But later on, when we got the P-47, the missions began to go further and further into Germany. And it became really our primary mission, escorting bombers to targets throughout Germany. I flew, I completed uh, approximately 110 combat missions and uh, I shot down 10 enemy aircraft. Now, for you, you're sitting there with this man who is 95 years old at the time you're interviewing him. He's a World War II veteran. So, what was that experience like for you getting to talk to him and hear these stories? Oh my God, I couldn't, I couldn't believe him. First of all, when you meet Pisanos, you, there's no way you could say that. He's a 95 years old man. He drives, his memory is perfect, he's eloquent, he has energy. He's, so, he's like a young boy, he's so exciting. So there's no way you could say he's 95 years old. It is truly a fascinating story and such a difficult experience that he had. Talk to us about what he told you about his participation in World War II. Instead of uh, having a, a real formal interview with him, I started, as I, as, as I told you, like having a coffee conversation, chatting, and I asked him at one point, how does it feel, you know, when you, you need to kill someone and you know that you, you have to kill him? Do you ever feel guilty ab about it? And he smiled and he gave uh, that amazing quote, you know. Uh, it was something that came, came through the moment. The day that his plane crash landed over Bordeaux, I mean, such a harrowing experience. Talk to us about that. Yes, you know, I, I couldn't actually believe it as uh, I was hearing uh, his story, how he described how a lot of pilots were lost because of engine failure. And he, he experienced uh, a similar experience. They had one mission over Bordeaux, and as he, he, tr he tried to take his parachute and jump the plane, but suddenly, as he described it, uh, according to his own words, when he gave a look at his right, he saw cows, barns, and fields. So he was too low, and he couldn't use his parachute to escape. So what he did, he went, on the, he went on the wing of his plane, he jumped, but when he woke up, he was trying to put fire on the plane, he saw two German soldiers approaching, and they started shooting him for far away. They, these guys are trying to kill me. I dropped everything I had and I began to run to a nearby forest. They follow me through and firing all along, and I can see the bullets hitting the ground to my left and to my right. Somehow, after several minutes, you know, I'd, uh, I must have really made either a circle or something, and I came out exactly where I had gone in, to that forest. So with them in the forest there, and I can see my aircraft further down there, I began to run away from the area by my aircraft. You can tell that you put a lot of time and, and effort into this story. What do you hope people who read it take away from it? If you go back to his time and see all the obstacles he faced, his parents, his peers, his friends, it will be normal from their perspective to say, quit. It's not uh, realistic. You fly in the skies, you're dreaming, uh, boy. But he didn't, he didn't give up. So I think that's a lesson that everybody can learn from Pisanos. That you are Greek yourself. You're here in this country. What kind of effect did hearing what this man, who so many years before you went through a, a, a similar move to a different country, how did that relate to you? You know, uh, actually it's a funny thing. Uh, I have called a couple of interviews and Pisanos is the only person uh, whose photograph is on my desk office because it is a source of inspiration. You, you, you know, I have, I have never done that for another interview I have told in, in the past.